Hey folks, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. And today I have a really special airplane to show you guys coming from Banana Hobby. I want to thank Banana Hobby for giving me the opportunity to help them unleash their 105 millimeter Kraken on the, on the world of RC. Um, this is the all new L39 coming from Blitz RC Works uh, brand over at Banana Hobby. Check out the links in the description below. Um, they are coming out with an all new line of 105 millimeter EDFs that are 12 cell powered. Really fantastic models. Now, there's turbine versions of this airplane and there's also electric versions of this airplane. And I'm going to start with this one, showing you the line of 105 millimeters uh, as, they, as they come out. Now, the model actually comes in, in, in really the, the electric version comes in actually three paint schemes and it also comes in um, basically two formats. Paint schemes are going to be uh, this camouflage version that I'm going to show you here today. It's also going to come in the, uh, the Breitling um, you know, blue Reno Racer airplane. And then it's also going to come in this Russian CCC paint job, which is really a pretty sweet uh, paint job as well. And then it's coming in really two formats. The one I'm going to show you here today is going to be um, the, um, the, the, like the, the plug and play version or the, the, the ARF version, or basically the one that needs a fan and it needs a speed controller. And then coming around February or so, um, they are going to have um, like the, the, the basically the receiver ready version. So they're going to have change sun fan and, uh, and a speed controller that comes along with it. So I'm going to be showing you this thing on a, uh, on a JP all metal fan. They have a special deal now on the website. If you check it out in the description below, um, you can get this actually 875 kV upgrade for the airplane at a pretty good price. So, you know, check that out in the uh, description below. Um, as you can see here, this is like one, like just massive airplane. This thing is, is simply huge. It comes in a foam, what is actually like a, uh, like a honeycomb crate is what this is. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's actually cardboard honeycomb instead of like your typical, typical foam box. And I'm gonna kind of peel this open so you guys can see how nice this is. It's very rugged and uh, there's a little foam kind of piece on top here. And just to give you just sort of a, just a brief look at the inside of it before we really get into it. You can see how sweet of an airplane uh, this is. I don't want it all to fall out of there. Um, but the other nice feature about this thing is that it has JP equipment, JP brakes. I think it has a gyroscopic uh, you know, brake system, uh, which basically allows the plane to stop straight when you hit the brakes. It senses yaw movement, yaw motion, and it uh, applies the brake pressure equally. Lights and this lights all over it, and the you know the the fit and finish on this thing is fantastic. So, anyway, guys, we're going to be showing you more of these. We're going to get this out of the box and show it to you. I would like to ask everybody if you guys like this video, uh, you like what you're seeing here. There's more coming, so please like, subscribe, share our videos, uh, hit that notification bell in the uh, lower right hand corner, uh, and that'll let you know when we're putting the, the new videos out. This is going to be a series on these airplanes, um, and each one of these airplanes, starting with this. L39 is going to be in a series because there's a lot to talk about with these things. So this is just going to be an unbox today where I'm going to show you all the parts, go over everything in real extreme detail, and then we'll get on to like the assembly in a, in a later video. And we'll put those links in the, in the, in the actually down below, but we'll also put them here in the upper right hand corner of this screen with a little drop down. So you'll be able to access each video uh, from, from each other. Um, so anyway, guys, without, uh, without further delay, let's get this out of the box. I do want to let you know too I am going to show you the JP fan as well it's a 105 millimeter and I've done videos on these um, on my channel so check out some of the JP fan videos and you'll see really how nice these things are all metal all metal machined aluminum really nice fans and again you can get this L39 and the other 105 millimeters um, you know from banana hobby um, that either come um, um, without the fan, without the speed controller, and you can put your own in, whatever kind you want. I know some guys are putting like J, uh, like uh, jet fan 110s, that kind of thing in it. Um, or it's going to come in receiver ready. So it'll have its own fan speed controller, just ready to put a receiver and, and battery in and go. So anyway, guys, without further delay, let's get this on the mat. Let's get it out of the box and let's see what it's all about. Okay, folks, with everything down on the mat, we're going to get everything out and uh, check everything out. You can see here that this is the, uh, the JP uh, 105 millimeter, uh, probably, I guess that's clockwise rotation, 12 cell, uh, 105 uh, EDF. 
Let's get this uh, out of here and take a look. You know, for those of you who have, may not have seen these, I have done so many uh, JP fan videos because I really love the fans. I love the machined uh, quality of them, and they're just pretty much unique and second to none. Um, this actually cooling cone, I've been told that actually this is more or less used on the, the in-runner motors, not the out-runner motors. So um, we, I think, just leave that off of the motor, and I have that off of most of mine. Um, uh, the motor, I think, actually cools better without it is what I'm told, but you can see the quality of this. If you guys want to see any of the other JP fan videos that we've done here, uh, on RC Informer, just uh, just type in JP Fan and then RC Informer uh, with a space there, and uh, you'll see all the other fan videos I've done. These are some of the most, some of the nicest fans around for sure. These individual holes you see getting screwed down here in here. These are lightning holes because they dynamically they balance this at the factory, and some of them have holes drilled, uh, drilled in different places. So when it spins, it, it when it spins, it spins uh, just liquid glass smooth. So um, sometimes you have a lot of holes. Sometimes you have a few holes, uh, but uh, uh, in this case, there's a few of them around, and again, that is just a balance. But look how beautiful that thing is. All metal blades, it's, it's basically machined from a single billet of aluminum. Just beautiful the way that this thing uh, is, is made. And you don't have the spinner coming out of balance or anything being on there or anything. You simply have uh, all the power of the motor is directed to turning the rotor, not the spinner or any of that other stuff. So. Really nice, nice cooling ports around the side. So this is what's going to be going uh, inside the beast here. So with that, folks, let's get this thing out of here. It is time to release the crack and let's get this thing out of here. Again, folks, this is impressive. Uh, this is this comes in this really nice. Uh, it's actually a honeycomb structured box, so it's it's tough as nails uh, and it really protects the thing really well. Um, I did notice that um, uh, even as tough as this box is, actually FedEx gave us an impact right there and that impact actually pushed down on this wing and it caused a little crease there so I'll show you that but that's that's simply because you could see that big line kind of right along here and that's because you know FedEx or somebody just kind of pounded this thing with it so if you have any issues like that you know um, where that happens um, you know just just you know, just get a hold of Banana Hobby and they'll, they'll, they'll take care of it for you. But uh, this is pretty sweet, folks. This is the first time that I am getting into this box. So it's the first time you and I are all seeing this for the first time um, kind of together. I have not really looked in this. I've only opened the top of the box. But check this thing out. We're going to lay them all out and get a real close look at the, uh, the quality and the detail on this. And it's pretty much second to none, folks. This is... Uh, this is one sweet model. So let's get all the parts out. I'm gonna kind of take them out for everybody, just sort of, sort of one at a time. We'll do our, our pretty much typical kind of standard layout so we can kind of get everything out of the box and, and look at everything in good detail. This is a little different for me, folks, because this is a ginormous box. I mean, this thing is huge, as you guys, as you guys can uh, kind of easily see. There's your spars, probably ones for the uh, wing. Uh, one's for the tail, and there's even, I believe, a vertical spar, which is actually right here, because the vertical fin has a spar. They really thought of everything with this, uh, with this model. So you can see the modular kind of construction of this thing and how well it is. In fact, I'm going to stop actually here, and I'm going to take a quick picture of this, because it's, it's pretty impressive uh, kind of coming out of the box, and I wanted to get a shot of that first real quick. And then uh, let's, get, uh, let's get to it here, because uh, social media, I like to put up posts of this stuff. You know, kind of as it comes out of here, it's really, uh, this is an impressive plane. Look at this thing. Look how nice the, the foam is packaged here to get everything out of here. These look like your, uh, your horizontal stabilizers here. We'll get these and we'll just sort of put these, uh, put these aside. And then uh, nice foam inserts here. Look how nice this is protecting everything. Looks like they've done a pretty nice job. Sorry guys, this doesn't totally fit inside the frame, all of this because it is a massive, massive airplane here. So um, yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. Guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a pause, a hesitation here, and uh, just take a couple social media type pictures, which you guys can, of course, you know, you can check that out on, on, on uh, Facebook. You know, check us out on Instagram, guys. We're on there all the time, showing you guys really more detailed photos of this stuff. Uh, simply awesome, look at the metal metal horns. Again, we'll get into all this, we'll lay everything out, we'll get all the parts out and uh, show you where, uh, where everything is, how everything fits in here. Um, here's, the, uh, here's the nose cone, the nose section with the uh, retractable gear mounted, so we'll put that, 
put that aside as well. And uh, I tell you what, you can probably keep this crate and um, probably put the plane back in the box if you ever decided to sell it at a later date and just kind of ship it to somebody because it's big enough. It really is big enough to do that. So we've got instruction manual right here, so it's, but it's pretty simple to put this thing together. Um, let me see if I can reach down here and pull the canopy off the side here. Um, yeah, that comes right out pretty nice. We'll put that aside as well. Um, I got to do this a little differently than some of my other videos, folks, because this is just a ginormous airplane. But check out, check out this this fuselage, just just fantastic. And then there is uh, there's one more item down here, and this is sort of a detailed parts kind of package right here. You can see. And uh, this has a bunch of accessories and push rods and, or uh, you know, ball links and all kinds of stuff in there. But um, what I'll do is I'll pull this fuselage just out of the bag so you guys can see how epic <laughs> this thing is. I mean, check this thing out. Look how nice, uh, look how nice this thing is. It's, it's huge, folks. It's giant. Again, it won't even really fit in my frame. We'll take a bigger look at this later, but for right now, let me lay everything out. We'll get everything down on the mat here. Uh, we'll lay everything out so we can see everything that comes with it, and then we'll take a closer look at everything in detail. Okay, folks, here's the layout of all the parts that uh, came out of the box, minus one wing, of course, because I was running out of space on the mat here with the uh, the zoom out, and that's about all I could get in here. But everything fit, again, except for one, just one wing. And I gotta say, my mind is officially blown. The fit, finish, quality of this thing is, is absolutely outstanding. I think, um, if there is any kind of competition, they should be afraid because this is pretty darn sweet. We're gonna we're gonna go over all this stuff. Um, you know, this is the main fuselage up here. Pretty much everything's mounted in here. You know, your uh, all your electronics and everything is ready to go. Of course, for this version, minus the fan, minus the speed controller that's coming in here. Um, your nose gear, your nose section here has the nose strut installed in there. All the servos are mounted where they need to be. Your main wing has its lights. Uh, retractable landing gear. Servos are mounted in your horizontals and your verticals right here. Yeah, you have two drop tanks here that actually they glue in, but you can actually unscrew the tank itself. You got some hardware, main uh, wing spar, tail spar, and vertical spar in here. And, uh, and then you've got your uh, parts bag here and um, um, your instruction manual. Again, guys, two versions of this airplane. This is the, the, um, the, the I guess, I, I don't know what you want to call it, like the ARF version where you have to put your own fan and speed controller, but the plug and play version is coming where you know you, you, it, it basically is receiver ready. You, you put your own receiver, you put your own battery in it, the fan, speed controller are already in there. You know, like a lot of these other uh, kind of um, you know ARF or or you know receiver ready models are. So, but this is fantastic, folks. Let's start small and we'll work our way up, and I'll show you what I'm talking about with this thing. Um, we're going to start off with uh, just one of these uh, horizontal stabilizers. You can see here from the uh, the light and the reflection how nice this thing is. It's hinged beautifully with these really nice internal style hinges here. Again, submerged style hinge where it you know rotates traditionally around a center point. Very, very nice without any sort of gap or anything. We have a really nice steel horn that's bolted in place. It's probably a good idea to check those screws, make sure they're tight, just make sure this isn't rocking around. Um, and there's a back plate on there that's very nice. You can see just how, how, how nice the quality control of that part is and how nicely they screwed that down. You have to put your ball links on, not a big deal, um, pretty simple. Nice, huge ball link, as you can see, or, or so I say servo in here and servo arm in there. Um, nice battery, or I'm sorry, nice, uh, nice uh, servo cover that you know you can just you know remove if you need to change the servo, that kind of thing. And then uh, you can see your spar tube joiner in there. I think that's actually an aluminum tube. Um, it looks like it's flashing back at me. Yeah, it looks like it's metal, but that's buried in there. And you have a single spar that goes through here, goes through the tail of the airplane, joins in the other side and then you probably have a couple of screws. There they are. Those screws will go through. There's a nice wood like bulkhead or receiver, I guess you should say in this end, where these two are received by wood parts. This is sweet. This is about the nicest I've seen. And those metal ends on there are metal. They screw into that or they either go through that and maybe tap into wood at the bottom. But no, I think they actually screw into that. We'll look as we get closer into there. But uh, just the finish on this is fantastic. 
uh, your servo connector here. You're going to want to tighten those up. If you guys don't know how to tighten up your servo connectors, you're going to want to do that on every one of these. Um, I do have a, a video on my channel about uh, tightening up your links, you know, making your electrical contacts better. I'll put a, I'll put a link to the description of that. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the upper right hand corner of this video. It'll it'll show up. You can click on that and get to it, and that'll show you how to tighten those up. Um, but simply awesome, folks. Very nice quality. We'll put that one down, and we'll take up uh, the vertical stabilizer. Let's take a look at that. Same quality. Look at that sticker application. I'm not sure if that's sticker or decal. I think that's a sticker. Um, again, nice servo hatch cover that just screws in place. You can see your big spar tube running through here. That's going to insert in here, come out of here, and then it plugs right in the back. So you have a spar on the vertical, which a lot of these foam planes don't put any spar on a vertical, and that's pretty sweet. Again, nice steel, you know, double-sided uh, ball link uh, uh, holder there, um, or, or horn, I should say. And then again, submerged style hinges rotating around a center point. Simply awesome. And then here's your aluminum. I'm not sure. Yeah, see, you can, these, are, these are tapped, so I can actually actually zoom in on that and show you that these babies are tapped and they're aluminum through wood. So that's really kind of unheard of for a, for a foam model. Um, that's, that's pretty impressive, folks. Just a nice finish. We'll, we'll see how it fits when we get it all together. But uh, yeah, simply awesome. Nice kind of tigery stripes on here. Those look like, um, actually that looks like a water slide decal it's almost hard to tell in the shine here the reflection off my lights you can kind of see that but you you can't feel them at all it's very very nice so we'll get that down there and then we'll take a look at uh, one of the wings here and i'll show you one of the drop tanks as well this is pretty neat the way they design this this is intended to be glued in and there's two screws here I removed both of these screws because I wanted to show you here what they designed this to do. It's pretty neat. You know, you put this in here. Now you can probably use magnets and put this in with magnets if you want to too. But I think the intent was to glue that in place and then if you want to remove your drop tank, you can just unscrew it and remove it and you can still leave your 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 you know your missile hard point on there and so forth. So Really nice job they did with this. Wood into wood, it's very nice, or wood into foam and wood with wood backers in there. So very cool on the uh, the external fuel tank, I should say. It's probably not a drop tank, but uh, at least external fuel. So, But take a look at the quality of this wing. This thing is fantastic. Look at, look at how nice this is. And it's kind of heavy here too. I think this is an EPO 35, I think. So it's actually a lighter EPO. Um, um, then the turbine version of this airplane, which I think is an EPO-20. Hopefully I didn't get that backwards. Uh, but it's actually intended to be a little lighter because it's an EDF, whereas higher speeds, you know, for EDFs, you want the foam to be a little more dense. So, um, but the finish on this is simply awesome. Even the stickers that cover the wiring, they did a very nice job covering up everything. You've got a pitot tube, um, uh, you know, probe insert that goes in there. That's all in the parts thing, and I'll show you that. Check out the wing tip on this thing. Very nice. Nice, uh, I'm assuming this is a decal application too, the tiger stripes on the end. And look at the, uh, the fairing here for your, uh, for your wing light. Check that out. Super nice. Two wing lights here. I'm not sure which one's flash or which ones are steady. I would imagine these are steady and the wings maybe flash or something, but, but wow. Holy smokes, folks! This is this is awesome, and I, I think there's um I think there's actually two wing spars actually in here. So actually, there may be four spars on this airplane. There's probably two wing spars, probably one elevator or horizontal spar, and then one vertical spar. So you probably got four spars. Those tubes are probably buried in, and then we have this really neat. Uh, AF, which is an aerofoam connector, um, I guess a proprietary, uh, just just plug in and go. So no wiring going on, you just plug these in. I like to call those wireless wing connectors, but uh, real nice plastic fittings here where everything plugs in. You can see your spars go through here or your spars go through the fuselage. You plug your wing in, your electrical contacts are made right through here, and then you have two screws, one through here and one through here. I don't know if those go into metal or or plastic, but I'm, I have a feeling they go into metal, which is kind of the way that you want it. So, um, flap is awesome. Look at that. It's all sort of a submerged style flap. Very neat. And they did a fantastic job here on the hinges. Look at these things. They're all flush mounted. 
Very nice. Look at that precision fit of those parts. Very cool. You got a really nice, really nice horn to actuate that. And um, lots of spar tubes. Spar tubes here, spar tubes here. Looks like a spar through here. That's probably a rear spar. But there's a lot of, um, you know, spar jig slots in here. So there's a lot of, and you can feel when you take this thing and you try and bend it, you, you really can't. It's rigid. It's rigid and has a, a thick, heavy feel to it. So real nice. Uh, submerged style aileron here. Once again, you can see how nice, how nice that is all the way around. And then last but not least, folks, the, uh, the JP brakes, uh, uh, landing gear and brakes. So JP, all ball bearing supported, um, 65 millimeter wheels, uh, magnetic braking. You can see how smooth that this thing is. Uh, just very, very cool. That's all wired and, uh, and ready to go. Um, I think there's compression to these for sure. We'll see if I can flex that a bit. You can, and they may even be oil filled. I'm not sure, but we'll see when we get this out there to the field flying. Um, servo pockets, servo covers, nice horns all the way around. Just simply sweet folks. I think they did just a tremendous job on the, the quality of this and the overall finish of this thing is, uh, is pretty darn sweet. Really kind of second to none. Um, very, very cool folks. Very cool fit and finish. Gotta give this thing an A+. I mean, it's really, this is killing me folks. This is just too good to, almost too good to be true how nice this is. One more item to note about the wing panel is that you might have a piece of tape across here across your uh, spar, main spar receiver tube. Um, and what that is, is to prevent you from losing the spar stopper, which is essentially, you know, just this piece of, uh, of, uh, of laser cut uh, plywood. What this is for is it's to prevent your, your main spar from, from going too far down into the wing. And as you can see, when I put this in there, um, it goes pretty far in there. And as I pull it out, you can see just by marking it with my finger, it goes all the way down in there. You can see down here that I have the, the rear spar in here. It's equidistant. It's supposed to be centered. So there's the same amount sticking out on each side. Same thing with the main spar that fits right about here. But if these spar stoppers should come out, uh, there's nothing to really to prevent your spar from going way down there. And of course, we don't want that. So uh, this current version that I have uh, was done this way and maybe it was sort of a last minute deal. I'm not sure. Uh, but in future versions, this thing, maybe it'll be glued all the way down in there and this won't even be an issue. But just note that if you see that tape over there, that's to keep this uh, keep you from losing the, uh, the spar stopper. And you can see now when I put that in there, I, it, it stops right here. I can mark it with my finger. You can see it only goes in uh, a little more than halfway and then that will keep it equidistant. It'll keep it centered within the fuselage so your spar uh, stays uh, uh, centered within the, uh, with the fuselage and the same amount goes into each wing. And then our nose section that really just kind of plugs right in and then a couple of screws go through. You can see there's, there's blind nuts there and there and there and there. There's four of them. So you basically just put your nose on, you run your wires through, you put four screws uh, through here from the fuselage inward and um, and that, uh, that's how you attach your nose cone. That's, that's really it. Uh, the retract door and everything, it looks like that's a little bit off. That might be something happening at the factory, but I'll, I'll mess with that and straighten that out if that's, if that's an issue. So um, maybe a little pitting in here um, on the molding of the beads. So that, that may be a one-off with mine. I don't think there's anything too much to worry about, but uh, yeah, I'd like to see that maybe a little cleaner. So, you know, nothing's perfect, but man, this thing is, this thing's pretty darn sweet. So. We'll open this up and take a look inside at the, uh, the JP nose strut. Uh, again, all aluminum, machined, beautiful, ball bearing supported. We've got a ball link and a really nice um, servo to drive that. Uh, here's your nose wheel steering servo attached to your gear. We do have, I think this is an oil filled kind of like slow, slow to return nose strut so you don't get that bounce if you get nose wheel first. So it comes back kind of in a slow eject type format. So pretty cool. JP struts all the way around, just kind of the highest quality with this thing, folks. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much blown away, guys. Very, very nice parts. And all your wires and everything, all your wires will come through here, and those will, those will just connect in and plug in for your, for your retract, your door, your steering. And um, I'm not sure if there's a light in there. There's a two, is this light gear? No, that's for the landing gear. I don't know if there's a nose light in here, is there? Eh, I'm not seeing one. So, but anyway, uh, really cool folks. Um, 
I am digging how this is. So very, very cool, nice quality. Actually, there's a plastic. This nose cone is plastic from the, uh, from on the, uh, actually on the yellow part. So this is all a hard, hard cone. So pretty sharp there. The canopy here comes off. Okay, I just kind of stuck it on there. This was actually down in the bottom of the box. Um, no pilots in this baby, but you know, you can put some in there. Pretty decent instrument panel all the way around. These are designed to come off. So you can see, you can stick a pilot in there and remove it. Probably just tape this down. You know, same thing with the back one that comes off. So a uh, very, very cool canopy, nice clear, and uh, you know, pretty cool. You can customize this if you want to. If you wanted to really go scale, you could just go crazy. So now let's take a look at the fuselage. The fuselage on this thing is uh, pretty massive, even without the uh, nose cone on there. I just decided to move some of these parts out of the way, just like in case I drop it. <laughs> I don't, you know, damage the wing, that kind of thing. So um, we'll pull this up and take a look at it. I'll do my best to get this, um, you know, in the camera. It's it's so big that it's just, it's kind of difficult to, to maneuver it in front of the camera the way I do it, but I'll, I'll do my best to kind of show everybody. You can see where your nose goes on, your four screws go through here, through these holes and uh, they go into the blind nuts that are in the uh, the nose section. But check this out, boys. The fit and finish on this thing is fantastic. They got these really nice water slide decals. You almost can't even tell that they're water slide. They're on there very nicely. You can see this intake scoop is a plastic scoop, so that won't get damaged and so forth. But really nice graphics on this thing. Very nice, very nice finish all the way around. Um, we'll start off up front, I guess. Let, let's just look in here. A bunch of stuff to kind of look at here. I guess there's there's all your wiring harnesses here. There's so many of these. We'll get into this during the assembly and setup video, so stay tuned for that. We'll do that next after this. Some wires here that look like they are for the like the BEC, so uh, the wiring's a whole nother thing on this airplane. But um, you got right here AF models, Aerofoam. This is, um, it looks like a, a BEC, uh, it looks like it's got jumpers for voltage and so forth and output and input and all that stuff. We'll, we'll talk all about that when we, uh, when we go get to the assembly of this. But, you know, nice battery floor. Two batteries are meant to go here side by side. Um, finally, a nice wide battery compartment with nice wide straps. My only complaint about this would be I'd love to see two straps instead of, um, you know, just one here because that's kind of that's kind of all I'm seeing is one strap. But at least it is a large strap. It's wide enough. You can put two batteries here side by side, and that should uh, we should be uh, good to go. Now these models are made for turbine and for foam oh, and for uh, EDF. So this version is the EDF version, but obviously there's probably some. This is probably a fuel tank for EDF. But remember the EPO is different material in these. So so they they really you know recommend this one for EDF, the other one for um, for turbine and uh, because this is a, a slightly lighter density foam to keep it light because it's EDF powered it doesn't you know they don't have quite the power the turbine has but uh, so anyway they've set it up there it's very nice how they have the wires wrapped here nicely um, everything's all set up looks like some of this tape came off during shipping but we'll get that taped all back down uh, same thing with this side carbon rods going up both sides I don't know that goes far pretty far back same thing on this side, carbon rods to, re rods to reinforce everything and make it just kind of tougher all the way around. Let me, uh, let me roll to the underside and see if there's anything of significance up front here to take a look at. There are some good panel lines around, you can see uh, kind of all the way around this. And then these are either cowl flaps, lower flaps, or speed brakes. Not sure exactly what these are, let me get my nail under there. But yeah, you, these drop down, that's pretty slick. Again, these are probably just two speed brakes to help slow the airplane down and uh, probably also act as maybe a little bit of a flap. But yeah, mostly mostly a speed brake there. You got your landing gear doors underneath here. We'll take a close look at those. Look how nicely those open up. I'm doing that slowly because you don't want to you don't want to ruin your gear train by doing that too much. But, you know, for demonstration purposes here, you know, nice ball link on there. Nice rod, horn, whole deal. Very slick, folks. This it really doesn't get too much too much better than this. And then you've got your multi-port wing connectors, you know, right here, multi-port, um, and that's just you know wireless uh, wing connectors. So they just plug right in. You don't need to do a bunch of wiring. Just put your wing on and go. So um, there's your rear spar hole, right, right in there. That's just the pass through for your rear spar. There's the pass through for your front spar. 
right there. Uh, again, your wheel well, and of course right down here, I went ahead and took the the, uh, the spars for this and just kind of took them all apart. They were all inside of each other. So you got one main wing spar, one secondary wing spar. The next size down right here is the, uh, the tail spar for your horizontal. And then there's a vertical spar. So really they thought of everything on this. Um, looks like a, a simulated NACA scoop. Again, panel line details. And uh, you know you have a nice latch mechanism for your canopy, so very cool there. And that has a metal pin, which is very cool. And then here's your uh, your rear hatch to get into the EDF unit. Um, and then it's spring loaded, so check this out. You pull this back forward, and there it pops up. So there's a spring loaded mechanism there that's pretty darn sharp. Let me get onto this. You can see the spring load right in here. So outstanding metal pin in there and everything and then as we look down into here um, you can see there's some foil wrapped around these wires that's probably a little reminiscent of the turbine version of the airplane because they probably make these on the same line for both but then at some point just convert to either EDF or jet so you know this one just has the all that uh, that that foil in there to protect the wiring so we don't have to worry about that obviously with EDF but the EDF fan is going to go right in there there's a thrust tube that's movable and it should just, you know, fit right on. There's really, I don't think, any modification you have to make for this. Cheater holes here on the other side, just this plastic fitting. This is probably your ESC deck where your ESC mounts right here, and they gave you a tie wrap to strap your ESC. So it's it's in the cooling flow of air, which is, you know, pretty neat. There's your there's your two scoops right there, your intakes where they where those things, uh, you know, come in. And then let me flip to the underside real quick. We can take a look. There's that scoop. Uh, another cheater hole basically to pull in some more air and so forth so you know very cool man this is this is first class folks this is about as nice as it gets you can see your wooden mounts in fact I'll zoom in on there you can see your wood mounts there for your uh, for your EDF uh, unit and what happens is is if you see here if you see here through the top there's there's a couple of holes here let me let me zoom out a little bit so you all can see that a little better there's two holes right here I believe those are screwdriver holes just so you can put a screwdriver down there into the wood and you can see right through there that little hole there and that's where the EDF actually mounts but you can put your screw so the EDF is going to go way back in there and you're going to put your screwdriver through those holes to mount it so um, even though it's not in the best place you, you can get to it and that's what it's intended for looks like they've got a little notch down here notch here and a hole in the thrust tube there and I'll zoom down on that that's all for your EDF wires to go through so they've they've kind of thought of everything for 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 setting this up properly and getting the you know the EDF you know the fan in there and everything and then here we'll go on to the back uh, really nice fittings we talked about folks um, and right here of course uh, just like we discussed you know you've got threaded uh, metal ends here so your machine screws will thread right into there your servo connectors right there and it's all backed up with a with a wood bulkhead here so really sharp folks I'm, I'm impressed you know right down in here here's your spar tube hole for your tail spar so you know you got a nice solid solid tail spar um, with this thing and uh, let's see we're full zoom out so I can't even get any farther out it's tough doing this folks because this is this is a big model I'm going to kind of point this down and change my position back here but um, here's where your vertical stabilizer plugs in your vertical spar tube which again haven't seen one on one of these yet but it's really nice so your your vertical goes in here your screws go in here your spars there and uh, they definitely have this setup to be really really structurally sound and then there's your there's your thrust tube right now this moves in and out it kind of comes forward and back because you're going to probably put the edf there and the edf unit in, and then you're going to push this over top of it and then kind of secure it but uh but that's your thrust tube and it's it's, it's really a plug and play thrust tube you should be able to just get the fan in there and put this over it and again we'll talk about that uh, you know way more you know when we get to the you know the assembly and the uh, the setup of, of this thing so we'll come down this side and take a look you can see other sides pretty much the same um, again tough to maneuver this thing but nice and big here uh, panels panel lines nice decal application scoops and um, uh, and I, if I didn't say so before, let's take a look over here. It looks like, and I'm going to zoom in on this, when you do mount your wing, it does look like you've got metal threads in there. So um, they did a really nice job with the plastic fillet doublers here and then your, your wing mountings. 
your two spars, your electrical connections, and then of course your actual screw hole screws that go in there. So again, nice decal application, nice plastic intake here. I love it when they do this kind of thing so you're not dinging that up because the, you know, the foam damages real easily. So uh, this is cool, folks. I, I'm impressed. Banana Hobby is killing it with this stuff. This is going to be some of the nicest, some of the nicest, uh, you know, kind of series of EDFs out there coming out. So let me uh, let me grab the uh, let me grab the hatch cover. Let's see if I can get that back on uh, in one uh, one one swoop here. We'll uh, we'll go ahead and insert this. It's got a tongue and groove in the back, and it looks like it's got a ramp slide right there. So let me. Let me put this thing in place here, slide it on and see if it, uh, it goes in. You probably have to push this forward just a tad bit. It goes in and let's snap it in place, make sure that that goes in. It's probably a good idea to push that back and now it's locked in. So folks, this, this fuselage is, is just absolutely spectacular. They did a real nice job on this model. I'm impressed to see such a big airplane like this of, of just such high quality coming out of the box. And I can't wait to put it together and that'll be for sure, um, you know, in the, in the next video. So um, let me get this thing back down and we'll finish up the last few of the parts. Last but not least, folks, is the parts bag. And I'm just gonna kind of put this in my, uh, my Harbor Freight uh, uh, magnetic uh, holder here just so, uh, you know, things don't get lost. But you can see the, the plethora here of uh, just high quality components that, that come with this thing. Um, these are little um, plugs. I'm going to guess that these plugs are probably for those um, holes, for the screwdriver uh, holes for where you screw in the EDF. So those you can probably just foam tack those in place after you're done putting the EDF in, but um, that'll block up those, uh, those holes. So. Um, and then uh, there's plastic covers for your retracts, and I think you got to do a little carving on one of these for the wire that sticks out. And then um, all the push rods, high quality, very thick rods, beautiful ball links, um, all with nylon lock nuts. Everything's labeled. You know, here's your flap, here's your flap rods. You've got your uh, aileron, probably elevator. All of them are labeled. So really nice, high quality rods. You got thick those are. Just super cool. Looks like a two millimeter metric nuts holding everything in place. So really cool. And then, uh, and then here you have uh, this is like a vertical kind of a vortex generator or, or stall fence or something for the rudder of all things. It goes out actually right at the top. It's a little detail. It looks like two pedo tubes right here, and a bunch of screws, nuts, bolts, uh, Velcro for batteries and stuff. So extra screws and all that kind of stuff, or screws for for different parts. So we'll. Well, these are actually all the wing screws probably is what it is. I don't know what the large ones are for, but we'll, uh, you know, as we get into this, we'll figure out this stuff and it's, it's, it's pretty easy, but you can see pretty simple construction, folks. You know, not too much to it. And then really the last part is, you know, the instruction manual and it's pretty simple. Um, as big and massive as this plane is, uh, the instructions of it uh, is pretty, pretty straightforward. You see that the AF model logo on there um, and it's pretty straightforward. Your nose goes on with 450. Oh, that's where they go. I uh, just answered. It says install the head. I need a translator. Install the nose cone with four millimeter by 50 millimeter screws. There's just four that go in there. Um, and then you install the cockpit uh, canopy goes on there. Again, your wings go on, two spars, four screws. That's uh, three millimeter by 10 millimeter metric. And then they show um, you know, your uh, external tanks gluing that in with something sticky. So <laughs> we can use foam tack or you know, we can use, um, use some, uh, some CA on that and we'll probably use uh, you know, uh, one or the other and we'll mess with that as we get into it. Uh, same thing with the, uh, with the uh, pedo tubes on the wing tips. So I'll get into those as I put that on. Um, you can see one wing spar going through here through the horizontal stabilizers. And of course you make your connection, of course. And then um, you've got four screws there. Tail goes on just like we talked about. There's your spar. And then you've got, you know, two screws, it looks like, get that on. And then here's your, they call it a baffle. It actually looks like some sort of stall fence or, you know, vortex gen or something like that. Uh, rudder fence, I guess is what it is. And then your CG here and where you want to fly this thing at. So 
Um, and then they show throws, control throws for your rudder, flaps, elevator. So we'll get into all that um, when I set it up and get it flying. So uh, all your parts right here, again, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, they talk about your different uh, is your EDF, 160 amp speed controller, to at least 5,000 packs, and then there's your dimensions. You know, 1,400 millimeter by 1,800 in length. So this is a pretty big model, folks. Just a just very, very cool, very nice model overall. Okay, folks, and here you have it. I went ahead and I did a, a dry fitting of the model. I just kind of plugged everything together. We're going to do an assembly video for everybody, which will be in a separate video, and there's going to be several videos on this airplane. So um, we'll have flight demos, how to install the fan, all that kind of stuff, and those will be in future videos coming, so stay tuned. Um, you can see that this plane pretty much does grow up when you put it together. Um, I have no screws in it or anything. All I did was slide all the spars in place. Um, and, and slide the wings on. Just to give you an eye, guys an, an example or an idea of how grand, how big of an airplane this is. It's a 1400 millimeter plus wingspan. Um, it looks a lot bigger than that. It's 1800 millimeters plus in length. And it's, as, as you can see, it's just, just an awesome bird. Now stay tuned for those other videos, folks. We're gonna have those out uh, just as quickly as we can. We'll probably do separate videos on basic assembly, probably fan install. Uh, speed controller, that kind of stuff, as we get it together. So stay tuned for all the parts of this, and we'll, we'll get everything together as quick as uh, as quick as we can for everybody. Again, folks, um, this is the Blitz RC Works Aerofoam L uh, L39 Albatross. Again, guys, coming from Banana Hobby. Banana Hobby is really bringing it to us with some really cool airplanes. Again, their focus is on 105 millimeter jets and 1100 millimeter warbirds and this is just the first of many folks there's a whole series of these coming next and uh, you guys are going to see them at rc informer so stay tuned and uh, once again guys we appreciate you all watching uh, support us check out the links below because i'll put links in the description to all of this stuff um, also this was the manual that i got a lot of stuff this stuff is in evolution this is the manual i actually got with the um, um with the airplane as we just saw but there's actually a much uh, fuller manual that uh, Ralph Salgado made, I guess, for this, and it's going to get into much more detail. I'll put the links for this thing um, in the description uh, below the video, and they'll also be available here coming soon um, on the Banana Hobby uh, website. So if you click the link below to the website, go to it. You can get the manual there, or I'll, again, I'll put a link down below so everybody can kind of check it out and see see sort of what's involved with it. So anyway, guys, once again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to support us. Share our videos. Um, hit that notification bell in the lower right hand corner. Uh, that'll let you know as soon as we put out the next videos on this model and other really cool stuff. Like the V22 Osprey that uh, Banana Hobby is putting out. We got videos of that coming too, folks. So anyway, guys, be sure to hit that like button. We do appreciate you guys stopping by RC Informer. And as always, guys, we'll see you next time.